watching Mental Health with Marcy, and I'm Marcy. In today's video, we're going to talk about hiding my mental illness. And this video idea came inspired from an Instagram post I saw where it talked about how really those who struggle with anxiety and depression, um, especially those who are high functioning, it can be really difficult because people just don't see it. And of course, Mental illness is an invisible condition to begin with, but if you are high functioning, you know, for example, if you are successful at work, you are able to take care of your household, take care of your kids, your dog, whatever it might be. If you're, if you have it together, um, then people just don't believe you that you are depressed or that you are anxious, even though it is taking you likely three, four, five, a million times more effort to keep it together than the average person. Um, and I even thought it was funny, I had seen on Instagram too, about how like people with mental illness, you know, their good days are, you know, the same as normal, normal people's average days. And again, apparently air quotes are the thing today. That's fine. And it's just so interesting to think about how it's, again, it's just not able to be seen. And so it's really, it's really a struggle and you really get, or I do anyway, can get frustrated sometimes when people, they just don't believe me that it's that bad because I have got my flower in my hair. I've got my makeup on today, whatever my outfit. I've done my dishes. I've, you know, I'm doing all the things, but yet, you know, I'm still struggling every day with a mental illness. And so it's, I wonder sometimes, you know, why, why do people not see it? And then, um, it hit me, um, oh, I don't let it be seen because I really try to hide it. And I don't know if it's intentional. I think part of it might be there's, of course, that self stigma around mental illness that I don't want anyone else to like know that I'm struggling and they just, um, I just still feel that shame around it. And, you know, I can be an advocate all day long and still feel, you know, so much. I can be here talking to you about my mental illness, but yet I can still feel shame and stigma around it. And so, and that's of course why I'm trying to make these videos to take away some of that stigma and make all of us, myself included, realize that it's okay to not be okay and it's okay to talk about this and we don't have to hide our mental illnesses. That's like the goal. Is it happening? No, because I'm making this video, but we'll see. But I think the other thing for me, and I think what a lot of people struggle with is just not wanting to be a burden because it's like if I told you every day, every, what do I call it? I want to say mentally ill moment, any, any um, symptom of anxiety or depression that I experience, I mean, who would want to hear that? <laughs> like it's every day. And so um, there are no, you know, good days when people ask you like how you are like, oh, I'm anxious and depressed again. Like, and then they're like, oh, what's wrong? And so that's why another thing I think is just because like having, it's difficult to explain because those who don't struggle with mental illness can, like there typically is a reason or like a situational event um, for why someone might be anxious or depressed. And, you know, it's really just sadness or stress, right? You know, that lower level not good at that today. That's also fine. Um, but yeah, there's typically something going on that's causing them to be stressed or sad. Um, but with anxiety and depression, of course, some situational factors do play into that. They do exacerbate those conditions, but it's not the whole case. A lot of times it's just like, your guess is as good as mine. Don't know why. I mean, for me, like, I can see why right now there's like a lot going on, but, and a lot of cases you're just like, I don't know, this is just how I feel. Like, I don't understand it. I'm just like, I'm just gonna cry randomly. Like, 
what's wrong? Don't know. Just like emotions. It's what my eyes are doing right now. It's what my brain is telling me to do. And I don't understand it. And that's where it really is very differentiated from, you know, sadness or just normal stress because a lot of times it's just, again, you just don't know why. And that's why, again, it's hard for people like us who, who struggle every day. And it's, and there is no easy explanation, right? It's like, I just have this illness. Like, are you going to ask me like why my leg is broken? I mean, I guess there might be a reason why your leg is broken. Like if you like jumped off a bunk bed. So it's a bad example. But it's like, I don't know. I'm just, this is my illness. I experienced this. I don't have like an explanation. And so I think that's another reason why I hide it is just not wanting to explain and, and then not wanting to be a burden on everyone where it's like every moment of every day, like I don't want to talk about, you know, why I'm struggling and because then that would be like my entire day and that wouldn't help me um, just kind of be even more negative. I don't know. I feel like having like all my conversations be focused on that um, is not helpful for me too. So I'm not meaning to say that you should be or have to be open about your mental health conditions. That's totally up to you. Um, completely, I mean, you don't have to even share any diagnoses or suspected diagnoses or anything like that. You don't have to share any symptoms. You don't owe anyone anything. So don't feel like this is me saying you should share, but I feel like we shouldn't have to be silenced, right? Like if we want to talk about it, then we should be able to without the stigma and without feeling like a burden. And so, and that's not on us. That's on the world. For not understanding yet so yeah I just it's it's definitely a struggle but another um aha moment was when I was just thinking about um at work everyone calls me bubbly and to me I'm like that's the strangest thing like to me I don't feel bubbly like I don't see like I would never call myself bubbly that's not a word I would ever use to describe myself but more than one people, like on separate occasions, different people have all told me I'm so bubbly. And it just struck me. And I'm like, why is everyone like saying that I'm bubbly? I don't feel bubbly because I don't feel bubbly inside because I'm anxious and depressed. And then it's like, oh, I'm not like sharing all of the bad stuff with the world. And so that's why it's not that I'm coming off as fake or any. I'm not like putting on a front or anything like that. But I don't share that side. You know, I just focus on the positive things. And it's just, it's so interesting to think about how it's because inside, like, I don't feel happy. And so it's like, well, why you to call me bubbly? But then it's because I'm hiding my mental illness. And so it just all uh, became so apparent and became it's like, oh, that makes a lot of sense now. And so I really don't think there's any easy answer for, okay, in this situation, you should share or you shouldn't share. I think it really depends on the person, their experiences, and also what feels good for you because sometimes it feels good to talk about it. Other times it feels good to talk about something else. Um, I will never say, just be positive. Like, just focus on the positive. I'll never say that because <laughs> I would just like, if somebody said that to me, I would just be pissed. I'd be like, what are you saying? Because that's not a lot of times for me, that's not what works. Um, it works for some people, but sometimes I just need to wallow. You know, sometimes I just need to be sad and cry and feel my feelings. And other times that's not a good idea. And I do need something to distract myself or just to be positive. And so it really is completely situational, dependent on me. And so definitely feel free to do whatever works for you, but just just know that um, if you've ever felt this way, that like you have to hide your mental illness or that you can't talk about things because you'll be a burden or people won't understand, um, just know that I'm with you. Um, like I said, no easy answer, but um, I hope that when we want to, when it feels good for us, if we want to talk about 
our mental illnesses that we feel empowered to do so, you know, when it feels good for us. And it's not going to be easy. Again, I'm still struggling with feeling like I can talk about it and that um, I don't have to hide it, but I'm working on it. So I hope that you feel empowered and not silenced um, when it feels good for you to share. So thank you so much for watching and stay well, my friends.